the Ladies Talk Show. This is your host, Leah Richheimer. Thank you for being here. We are having an awesome summer, and I give everyone who's listening and watching, whatever, you should also have an awesome summer. So we're busy doing, what do we, what do, we do today? the website. And we're even late. The we like went frames. on and on. The, wi- the wire frames for the It looks website. so it's good. Like, the like, website's going to be hopping. Beyond. beyond. So here's the thing that also is so cool about so it. Exciting. Not only just it, like it looks good, but it's like it's not confusing. At If you yeah. go to our website now, you should see the before and the after. Like if you yeah. go now, it's yeah. like, what exactly did I want yeah. me to do? Where yeah, go to the website to now, ladiestalkshow.com, yeah, like, and then go to the website and in like, about, a, a month. month. <laughs> I don't know. We're saying. And then you'll but, be able to see yeah, the it's makeover. It's really great. It's a great the makeover. Before we're and having after. a lot of fun with it. Whatever. I miss you guys because, like, I usually now I'm getting lots of emails and stuff yes. like that from whatever. So yeah. keep sending the questions in because then I don't have to, you know, do a whole lot of um, yeah. craziness. I'm supposed to have the summer off. Yeah. Wink, wink, yeah. wink. But the questions, uh, so I got the fabulous question. Yeah. I'm sure she's waiting for the answer. I hope yeah. you're watching today. Anonymous at yeah. anonymous.com. Yeah. Um, Info at ladiestalkshow.com if you're sending it yeah. through email. It, you right. can comment Info on Facebook. Info at ladiestalkshow.com. So I just send a question there. You can send it in anonymously. Go to the website and go to contact us and just write in anonymous. You can send it in. So I have an anonymous one today. <coughs> Excuse me. And this one um, is like, this is so prevalent and it's such a crystal clear problem that we all have and there is an answer to it so the question so he, i'm going to just summarize whatever because she wrote a very long thing whatever so i tried to highlight yeah, stuff that right long things too yeah <laughs> right long, yeah you know that way i can sort of get a picture of what it is so she said that she it wants to be close with her husband obviously we all want to be close to her husband and she has lots of hopes and dreams but every time she shares them with him he gets all defensive and worked up and like well ah, ah, ah. Right, so what does she do? Like, come on, you know, like I am supposed to like block my own feelings and not be able to be able to share what I thought you're my best friend. So she's all upset. She's she says he's a great guy, right? Says a great guy, but you know he she just feels like she can't open her mouth of what her hopes and dreams are. Okay, anyone relate to this problem? Put a wait. Well, what what's meaning her hopes and dreams are scaring him, or does he feel pressured that she wants? That's right. Oh, she that she wants pressured. him to fulfill yeah. those hopes and dreams yeah, for like, her? Yeah, like, come on. So her knight in shining exam- armor? She gave two examples or whatever. One example was that she wants to paint her house eventually, you know, a different color. And she said, you know, so they were driving along, and whatever their house is, she didn't say, but let's say their house is white. I'd like to have our, our house tanned. So first of all, she has a house, which is pretty nice. Most people Beautiful. don't have houses. You know, so she said, you know, I'd like to paint it tan. And she he gets all... Tense. Tense. Yeah. Why? He sees money. He sees money, <laughs> and he sees, oh, she's not ha- I bought her a house. She's not happy with the house. Right. So the other thing that she's upset about is, you know, that's a really deep and close to her heart, which is really struggle for her. She wants to be a stay-at-home mom, and now mm. she's working. Okay? And so anytime she mentions it, he flies off the handle. She said, even one time, you know, I went home. I, I came home. I stayed home with a baby all day. And didn't have to bring it to the babysitter, and I had to, and I stayed home with the baby. And when he came home, I told him, "Oh my gosh, it was the best day. I had such a wonderful day." He got all bent out of shape and gave the silent treatment. Mm. So, if you have an answer for this, type something in below. Okay, <laughs> if you have any thoughts on it, because this is so common. And here's the issue. She seems like a, such a sweet, yummy person. She's not doing this out of, you know, she said he's a wonderful guy, whatever. He just gets so defensive, and I want to be close to him and share with him my hopes and dreams. So, But the issue that you we have to ask ourselves, so she's coming from a place of wanting to be close to him, which is great. We have to ask ourselves, is that where I'm coming from, or is it just me listing out my wants? So here's the, we need a, what, what can we do? No, not a clap. A clap? Oh, <laughs> my need, gosh. We, we need a, a uh, what's a warrant? I need yeah. a flag, a like flag. a red flag. That's yeah. a good one. Can a you write flag. that down? Oh, red but, but, flag. But, but, but no, no, flag. but red, pink. It would be uh, a pink, pink flag. flag. Yeah. We, we don't do red we on the show. We don't do red on the show. It doesn't match the decor, right? Exactly, So yeah. we need a yeah. red flag. Make another. Yeah. Okay, fine. So we need a red flag. So it, it, this is any time you are sharing a want. This is a big issue. In fact, let's say painting a house was in the budget, right? If it's not in the budget, frankly, asking, talk, talk, talking about it and saying you'd like to paint the house and it's not in the budget, that's frankly mean, M-E-A-N. 
You hearing that? It's mean to ask some. It's not in the budget, and you're saying I want to paint the house. That's kind of like saying, you know, him saying, you know, I'd like you to to make me homemade pastries. And like, well, you phyllo dough, and I don't know how to make whatever. Look, you could be the money maker. I'm using such uh, um, what do you call them uh, examples, uh, stereotypical examples. Mm-hmm. I don't mean to be doing that. I just have, I wasn't supposed to work. I'm supposed to have the summer off, so I'm just off the cuff trying to answer this question. Anyway, no, but whatever. I should be more careful. But so, but let's say he asks you, like, what? Well, why don't you? Why don't you learn? Why don't you do it? Why can't make me this? Do this for me, whatever. And you, or he says, you know, every day I like the dishes before you go to bed. I like everything. You know, when I come down the kitchen, it's dirty. I don't like it. And you're like, look, I'm after having worked all day, come home and done the, you know, fed everybody, I'm exhausted. When I do it the next morning, I feel refreshed and able to do it, right? But he's demanding that you do that or com- asking you. That's called mean. He can ask you and say, you know, would it be possible if he said, I'm just so exhausted, like, okay, or whatever it is, however he approaches you about it. But for you to ask him, it's just plain old mean. If it, if it's not in the budget. Now, let's say the painting the house is in the budget. Ladies, if you want to get what you want, this is not what you need, which is far more important. But we're gonna, right now, we're talking, we have a lot of shows about what, getting what you want and how to manage that. You can watch those. We'll probably cover it again because it's such an important topic. People get their wants and their needs confused all the time. And because of that, they don't get what they need and they m- annoy everybody around them. They annoy their husband, okay? So if it is, not, if it is in the budget to get the house painted, you want to know a secret? If you were to say to your husband, I'd like to get my house painted, you have like a 20% chance of getting it, the house painted. Whereas if you think about it and you stop and you contemplate and you think, hmm, I really want to get the house painted. It's probably in the budget. I know this deal just came in and whatever, we probably could afford it. You would sit down and you'd think about how am I going to approach my husband about it? How am I going to bring it up in a way that he doesn't feel defensive? How am I going to bring it up in a way he doesn't feel like she, he has to do it or I'm not going to be happy? How do I ask him for it without backing him into the corner and getting my head and myself into the place where if he says, mm, I'd rather, I, I have other priorities right now, that I'm not going to be mad at him. Thinking about all these things gives you the highest chance of success. Maybe not necessarily, for, for sure, uh, sorry, your highest chance of success in getting what you want and, more importantly, higher chance of success in keeping harmony in the marriage. So if, let's say it's in the budget to get the house painted. So you think about it, and then you sit him down and you say, you know, I was thinking about it. You know, I know that you had talked about you wanted to get a uh, new carpet for the living room, and, you know, that's going to cost around this much. I think our carpet is actually doesn't look so horrible. I, I'd rather spend the money, I don't know if these are equal or <laughs> whatever, but I'd rather spend the money on having the front of the house painted or the side of it, whatever it is, you know, because it's really kind of chipping and it's not, or I want a different color or whatever it is. You know, whatever you want, but, you know, that uh, I'm just putting my two cents in that that's the priority I would have for our finances at this point. Do you think that's doable now or in six months or in a year? What do you think? If someone approached you that way, wouldn't you be like, hmm, okay. you know, you'd consider it. You'd think about it. Whereas if they said, I want to paint the house. You know, I'd like to paint it a different, that's the color. See that house over there? That's the one I want for my house. Just like, oh, my, is it never ending? Okay. So this is an answer to anonymous who asked the question. I want to cover one other point. Because she, she said she wants to be a full-time mom rather than, you know, working. So how would you how would you cover that? If it's not in the budget, talking about it and telling him about it is what, ladies? Mean. It's mean. It's mean. M-E-A-N. M-E-A-N. It's mean. It's just mean if it's not in the budget. It just yeah, makes Yeah, but look at the two things she's asking. She wants to paint her house, and she wants to be a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. Well, hello, if you're a stay-at-home mom and he wants you to work, you probably don't have it in the budget to paint your house. Right. It's almost like right. she wants right. the best of both worlds. Right. I want to stay home and be a stay-at-home mom, but I right. also want to have right. ample... I want Funding. you to make right. ample right. money right. so we can do all And that's things. the point I'm going to get to, so you have to stay tuned to the end to hear what I'm going to say about that, about money. But here's the thing. If it is not in the budget... And then it's mean to talk about it. If it is in the budget, you don't say, oh, I had such a great time at home with my daughter today or my son, whatever, with the kids today or kid, whatever it is, you know, to make them feel like, stiff them out, like you're, you know, giving them a hard time or you're not, or you're miserable with what you have, right? But if you were to say to him, 
you know, think about it and contemplate. Write, get yourself a journal. Start writing it down. Keep an app. Get whatever. Write these things down so you can plan well, and then it'll go well. Plan well to go well. Okay, so now you're talking to him, and you say, you know, I've been giving a lot of thought. Do you think that sometime in the next, you know, six months to a year, we might work toward, you know, or the end, I'm a teacher at the end of the school year that I could take the summer off, see how we do, you know, whatever, some kind of thing. You would have a conversation with him that would be a sincere, genuine from your heart to his heart to try and figure it out and work it out rather than a demand and a command and telling him what you want, which is mean, okay? So here's the situation. So everyone got that so far? We're mm -hmm. good? We're good? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. now I want to point out something that you should need to know, and this is from deep spiritual sources. If the woman is completely not demanding of her husband, but rather becomes a receiver of her husband's goodness, of his blessing, right? All We know from Rav Moshe Cordovero, all bless, come, blessing comes from God to our husbands and then to us. And if we receive it without with making them feel bad, with appreciating and thanking them and whatever, receiving that blessing, okay? You know, there's a Gemara that also talks about how the woman holds the bracha in the home. Yeah, the blessing that she holds is from her husband, okay? It's very, very clear. This is not a shade of gray. So you can argue with it, whatever you The sources are in, in the marriage secrets. You can look them up, okay? You can look them up anywhere. Google it. A man is the source of the blessing in the home. So if a woman is a nice receiver, more money will come in. So if this woman wants to become, wants to stay, be a stay-at-home mom or paint the house, her number one way of getting more money in their house is by being grateful and thankful for everything that he, she has already and thanking her husband verbally. Not just feeling it, oh yeah, that's, oh, that's nice, that's from him, but to thank him and verbally and and appreciate him that way. And if you do that, then her, both her problems are solved, okay? Because she's going to have money to paint the house and she's going to have money to, to stay at home on. Not every, I, I shouldn't say it's guaranteed and I shouldn't say that that's for sure the way this all happens. Um, sorry, it is the way it for sure happens. On a spiritual level, for sure, if she's grateful and thankful, more blessing will come into the home. Does it mean she'll get exactly what she wants? No, but maybe something like, for instance, if she, if, um, she, is, she wants to get the new house painted and she's thankful and grateful and whatever, and her husband keeps saying no about the uh, no, no, no to the house, but then she wants a new dress and he says, yeah, just go get it or whatever. She will get blessing. It may not look exactly how she wants, but it is absolutely guaranteed that the more grateful that the woman is to the husband, the more blessing will come in their home. That's it. That's how mm. it works. And the homework is one time to say thank you to your husband this week. Just say, I appreciate you, or I thank you, or I'm grateful to you. And you'll see there's a whole dynamic that shifts, and the husband will not feel defensive as this man does, but he'll feel like, I'm, I'm the guy. And that's what you want for, him, for your future income in your home. Okay, that's it. Any questions? Anybody? Yeah, anybody? We're good? Good. Okay, stay tuned. We'll see you next week.